Good evening, everyone. How is everyone? Just got back from London. It's quite late. Getting a bit tired. It's about five, five to two now. With in the morning, really tired. But I'm super, super, super excited as well. Just got back from from a big leadership meeting in London. Um, you, you will see glimpses of it soon. You will see some interviews which I've had with some some outstanding leaders. Uh, that, that that's all to come. And it's just a quick one. I, I just want to talk about habits and and you know how, how habits occur and the habits we, we we have without knowing it and some of the habits we actually get from childhood they're, they're, they're implanted in our brain without that was even even recognizing it really um so, so one of the habits i have one of you know is is when i'm down having a bad day uh, i look for for a sugary treat and but when i sit back and look look why it's because as a child if i was down not feeling great i was given honey on the dummy so uh, and that cheered me up that stopped me straight away so you think you think subconsciously you made that connection between feeling bad taking sugar <laughs> and feeling happy so you know the the same occurs in, in, in business and whatever you do now don't get me wrong everyone procrastinates it's it, you know it, it's what we do as humans however a lot of people they 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 make they make connections they they reward themselves so before you know it because they've rewarded themselves for for what they like doing what they don't like doing it becomes habit so so to speak and i'll, I'll expand on this um what my idols is is Arnold Schwarzenegger, really, really great guy. If, if anyone's read a book by Arnold Schwarzenegger, <laughs> or, or, or let me say, if you haven't, then then pick one up. He's he's definitely an inspiration. I mean, from where he came, not not only in bodybuilding, from government as well, coming up from from Austria to to being involved as 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 mayor in in California. Um, I'm not sure if it's a man in America, but but it, it you know it, it translates as as man in in the UK anyway, and that, that's 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 absolutely huge for him. You know, he's 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 hit a position in government which you wouldn't which you would think is unimaginable, uh, especially for someone from another country going to such a big powerhouse such as such as America, and. I remember, I remember picking up Arnold's book and, and reading a bit about his stories, and there was something which, which really, really took me back. And I mean, it, it, it took me back. I was like, Oof. Yeah, his dad was quite hard on him. But Arnold Schwarzenegger, as a kid, his his dad would make him do do, do push-ups before he could eat or, or or could have some food. And every day, the amount of push-ups. Will, will go up it, it will increase but so you're thinking wow that, that, that's hard but what what had occurred in the brain the, the the chemistry which had occurred was Arnold was creating working out and doing press-ups with with being being rewarded so that's where the habit came in and that's where he got to the Mr Olympias and he, he got to that massive profile um obviously he's done been doing films and, and government but obviously he, he he wouldn't have got that without his bodybuilding so subconsciously his 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 mind made that link between a habit such as working out and a reward and you may be thinking what has this got got to do with me hopefully you've picked up a lot from that sentence so it's just going back to to what you do and and relating something you don't like doing something you know you've got to do almost every single day and rewarding yourself for doing it um i know myself uh, i like going to the gym so once once i've done a couple of videos once i've kind of done the conference course done done the nitty-gritty really the the, the parts 
I, I don't mind doing well. I don't mind doing them now, but before I, I, I would have hated them because I, I, I've made a habit. For me, going to, to the gym is a reward. And I know once I've done this video, once I've completed this paperwork, once I've completed this legislation, I go and I, I've got the gym after. So I can go to the gym and everything's better. I'm, I feel happy. So after, after a period of time, so to speak, I made that connection. I do paperwork, I do a video, I go to the gym, I, I, I get rewarded I, and I end up being happy. And because of my, you know, I, I, I love reading health stories, it's, it's, it's a business um, I'm looking to, to create very soon, I'm looking to create a healthy supermarket. Um, if you're if you're watching this in a couple of years down the line, or even a couple of months, you you may actually <laughs> actually find out that, that my my supermarket has been run, has has launched by now, and I mean hopefully it's a great success. And you're you're looking at it going, hang on, isn't this this the guy of the, the creator of like healthy supermarket? You know that 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 Earthbound Foods <laughs> Limited. I swear it's him and. I mean, hopefully that's a, that that is the case. But be, because I'm passionate about the health industry and and that sector, you know, I, I, I read stuff. Um, I mean, there, there's there's an Australian woman, and I love her. If, you know, if I could marry some girl, it would it would definitely be her. She's absolutely amazing. She's she's she she. She's a bikini model. Her name is Nina Silic. Now, again, when we talk about habits, Nina Silic, uh, as a child, she was brought up by her mum. Everything was healthy. Everything was organic. Nothing was processed. Nothing was processed. She, she didn't have sugar for a treat. And I read the story that, that occurred, you know, all the way up, in, up in, until she was 12. And then she can make her own choices. And then what happened is when she made them choices, when she had the sugar, she really didn't like it. She, 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 she felt bad and wanted to go back to the healthy eating. And she, she kind of looks at now and goes, why does anyone take sugar? I don't, I don't understand it. Why, why isn't everyone eating healthy? And what actually occurred is the mind again, subconsciously for her linked, linked a reward with healthy eating that there was nothing which which you know the the sugar the the the, the processed processed foods we eat now there was no connection there at all so so what actually happened is you know she she ate healthy and it turned out she go she she liked training as well and her, her body almost almost happened by just eating healthy and her training um, and the connection again she had like like Arnold Schwarzenegger was she was rewarded for these habits so these habits almost did, almost didn't change and and I mean that I mean we're, if we're looking at business and life particularly in business we, we'll just go a link that back so if we know Monday morning, it's a hard day, you're, you're in the office nine, nine to five, you've got the whole week ahead of you, give yourself something rewarding to do. You know, come, come Monday morning, I, I don't know what it is, if you like listening to music or, yeah, let, let, let's say if you like, like listening to music, you know, after you've completed the day, uh, Monday morning, so Monday, well, Monday morning, Monday day, you, uh, you know your 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 day on Monday, whenever it's, you can go home and listen to to music for an hour and a half, and before you know it, you would you you will get into a habit where you know if you do that come Monday, you'll get that that reward. And it's the same in business. You've you know you you want to make things things habits, but you can't make habits without giving yourself reward. You know, ha habits don't don't occur 
overnight. I mean, we, we all have hobbies and we have these hobbies because we have the world after. And, and that's what we associate with. So it's a very quick lesson today. I mean, I, you know, I just, just want you, you all to take it, take, take it on. So just think about it. Whatever you do, whatever you don't like, reward yourself after in business and in life. Just if you do something you hate, let's say it's, let's say it's something like reply, replying to debt letters. Once you've replied, go do what you like. Go play a video game, go do music, go, go hang out with mates, but do something rewarding. And before you know it, doing, doing this thing which you absolutely hate will soon become a habit. All right, and that's all for today. I hope to see you soon. I hope you've learned a lot from this video. Just leave any comments below and I'll see you soon.